Now, let's launch the AWS EFS to store CDF and SMA data. Use the preset template to create the EFS. Name the EFS instance, enter the VPC ID, subnets, security group, etc. Create the stack. Wait until the stack creation finishes, then log into the bastion node. Run the commands from SMA Help Center to configure EFS volumes. We recommend that you use RDS as the database engine on AWS. In a production environment, this RDS instance will be used as the external databases for CDF IDM, CDF API Server, and the suite. Use the preset template to create the RDS. Name the RDS, enter the VPC ID, subnets, security group, etc. Create the stack. Wait until the stack creation finishes and follow the steps in the SMA Help Center to set up databases for CDF on this RDS instance. AWS Application Load Balancer, or ALB, is used to serve end users to access the suite from web browsers. In this step, you will create an ALB and configure three listeners for ports 3000, 5443, and 443 on it. Before creating an ALB, allocate an FQDN for the suite and prepare a new certificate for the ALB. Also create three target groups for the three ports respectively. Click Create Load Balancer, and then Application Load Balancer. Configure as required in the SMA Hub Center. In Step 3, configure security groups. You must create a new security group and add these rules. After adding three listeners on the ALB, combine the sweet FQDN with it. Now we can download the SMA installation packages and images. For more information about the SMA installation, visit the SMA Hub Center.